very good morning today our topic is we need to discuss about to the there is another scripting challenge in apache jmeter 2 okay today that is the topic you need to discuss about topic is apache jmeter scripting challenge 2 okay this is the second one one by one <coughs> i will provide the videos uh, based on my experience what are the challenges i faced uh, i will provide it um maybe that one will be useful to the who are the newly started career right and uh, some interview time also will be helpful okay that is i'm creating these videos okay you can go to the main topic okay uh the scenario is <clears throat> i have one scenario the first request pass only next request will be executed otherwise first request not passed second request never executed and stop the test this is the scenario okay now you understand the point right it's very simple okay when example there are two request http request the first request pass will get the status code 200 that time only the second request will be passed otherwise the first request except 200 code you can receive any type of code okay automatically the test is failed means the first request fail means immediately second request never executed that is the topic okay that is the uh, uh, it will give the requirement scenario point of view okay now we need to discuss about the solution okay example in solution side uh, you will give the small tray structure first is the test plan after add the thread group uh, HDB request 1 HDB request 2 okay after you need to add the bean shell preprocessor okay before the sampler execute okay what is the use of the bean shell preprocessor right this one also preprocessor only preprocessor means before execute the sampler request execute okay after generally you need to add the view registry in my real time scenario also right there is a two uh, rest services REST request available, development team will be provided, first request and second request. But the scenario is, the first request success only you need to execute second request. Otherwise, you no need to execute the second request. It's totally waste. Okay. And the user load is very high, around or will give it to the thousand user load. Okay. That reason, there are so many unnecessary requests will be executed, second request. That reason, whenever the first request pass only, you need to execute it to the second request. It's not passed first request. No need to execute second request. It's not required. Okay. That is the original scenario. Okay. How we need to resolve right this one. Uh, now you need to discuss about that one. Okay. You can see whenever we'll create the two HTTP requests, right? It, you need to add the bin shell preprocessor. That one you can add anywhere. No problem. Okay, and um, the below the thread group or HTTP request below, you can give anywhere, no problem. It's automatically work uh, entire the script. Okay. Once you need to add the bin shell preprocessor, right, you need to write this below code. Okay. Uh, you can see, first of all, you need to declare to the variables. Variables means, example, I will give directly, where means it's a variable where rc rc means response code where rc equal to trim dot get response code 200 otherwise get response code brackets will be given okay second one response messages also where rn means response messages equal to prim dot get response message bracket and log dot info uh, open rc is response code is plus rc plus means what is the response code you will get it you need to store this area and we we'll display it and log.info rm is response message is plus rm means what is the response message you will get it we will display to the rm most of the time we will display the uh, ok right ok message will become in jmeter automatically will display this area ok uh, these two steps will be completed right after you need to give the condition if open factorial symbol will define to the not equal okay not equal rc response code dot equals 200 okay the condition is whenever 
the response code equal to the 200 okay the response code equals to 200 automatically the second request executed otherwise the response code is not equal to 200 right that time you need to execute it this is the stop command will j meter okay just a minute yeah until this okay this is the command for the j meter tool okay this is the command for j meter tool uh, stop the test immediately okay you need to execute this command whenever response code is not equal response code is not equal to 200 right that time this command will execute immediately stop the test okay this is the way the code will be work this is very small scenario okay and uh, output right i am generally i am given this one okay just your showing purpose i am creating hrv request one and two just google and ping.com will be showing okay now i will show you how you need to execute this one you can see guys first one is the test plan after thread group after i will add it to the bin shell preprocessor you can add anywhere it's not a problem hrv request is https www.google.com HTTP request to www.bing.com Google and Bing.com I have taken there are two requests okay and view registry added right now we need to go to the bean shell preprocess same code only I am added you can see nothing else the reset interpreter only false by default it's available nothing will be changed and same code only will give in okay and uh, some people uh, whenever you need to type your own hands right that time you will doing some mistakes whenever you type this one right i will give it in my youtube description also directly you can copy paste otherwise you can see org dot apache dot jmeter dot engine dot stop standard jmeter engine s capital j capital e capital after stop thread t capital thread t capital current thread t capital dot get name n capital okay these are the letters uh, it's a case sensitive and it's a jmeter engine level will be stop the test right you need to give exactly okay i am already given right below i am also taken whenever i will type right it's not working that reason i will take it directly in command only i will take it okay once you need to give and write this one you can execute directly it will work okay this is the whole process guys this is the main scenario and the solution also uh, actually i need to try to execute but uh, my home power is gone uh, just you can wait two minutes okay power and i will show i will execute and i will show i will execute and i will show you okay it's a very simple guys whenever you will face any this type of scenario right you can use these conditions uh, this condition this commands way of writing process and you can automatically you can resolve that issue otherwise who are the people is uh, your profession is the performance testing domain only your work your career right uh, that people's i requested and suggested uh, you need to learn to the groovy scripting okay groovy or bean shell or javascript jxl script java everything in java only okay just the syntax only will be changed and groovy is a, groovy also lightweight only for javas okay you can learn anyone scripting and nowadays outside uh, market also uh, will demanded groovy scripting okay i never question bean shell bean shell also same only everything you need to come finally you need to solve that issue that is the main intention but most of the current market and companies also will demand uh, jmeter plus groovy scripting okay uh, that reason i suggested as for the market is important right you can learn to the groovy scripting it's not a that much of big deal uh, i i am also i need to try to create some tutorials that videos also but time is not permitted but i will try my best and i will provide the videos but your side right yourself also you need to try there are so many uh, documents available and user manuals internet also so much of data available so many sample programs also available you need to practice that one and methods everything you need to practice 
all the methods and uh, you need to implement it to the JMeter. Okay, JMeter example you can see this is the very important one. You need to learn this one. You can see this one script variables ctx ctx means it's a citrix okay but you need to call it as ctx you need to write in your jmeter ctx you need to write otherwise vars i declare it var right you need to give vars also it's also work there is no an issue props prev sampler log okay what are the variables you have given right you need to declare that variable and how we need to declare how we need to work that that is everything yourself only you need to practice it okay there are so many uh, issues available in worldwide and uh, and one more important point what my understanding from youtube side youtube also it's not provided means all the peoples are not provided full data for anything okay you can see Google is first working. Google websites, uh, what are the users uh, will be searching, right? Any technical related. What are the people is provided in our websites? That data is available. Okay. YouTube is now latestly need to came and currently it's working. All the data is not available in YouTube. Okay. Whenever you did not find any data in YouTube, you can move to the Google. Okay. Google and you can search it and you can find some other data okay based on your knowledge whatever you find out the data you can use that one and you can implement the data okay you, you need to practice it is very 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 important okay you can you have a practical example now i told this one right this code based you practice one or two times uh in your experience whenever you face this type of any um, any type of scenario will came and not only same one this based this type of one okay that time you can use this methods and uh, this commands used to you can easily you can solve your issue and you can continue your work okay yeah that is one I'm explaining uh, sorry guys today still power is not back I will try to connect to the my mobile internet give me five minutes
Yeah, uh, now it's uh, connected my internet. Uh, first of all, guys, I disable this one, Bean Shell Preprocessor. You can see, uh, first of all, HD Breakfast 1 and uh, second one, HD Breakfast 2. Okay, first one I will give in Google, second one is Bing.com. You can see view is just in nothing else, right? In thread group also, one only. Okay, single user. Now you need to run, right? You can see what will be happening. Okay, the first request is executed successfully. Now you need to execute it, second one also. Just a minute. Yeah, that is network issue. You can try one more time. Yeah, you can see now both the request will executed, right? Both are 200 response code and response message is okay. Capital letters. Both are is executed. Okay, it's a mobile internet, right? It's running very slow. Okay, no problem. First of all, request side there is no any issue. Now it's working. Now you need to enable this one. Okay, now we need to enable this code, everything will be written right. Okay, our condition it's not equal to 100 only will be stopped. 200 right, it's no issue. It's very simple terms. First request will execute it successfully, will green automatically, second request will execute it. First request failed, red color, it's failed right. Second request never executed, immediately stop the test. Okay, that is our condition. Now you can remove this everything. You can see. First request, it's the properly available and second request also properly available. Now, our expectation, both the request, whenever you need to enable the bean shell preprocessor also, you need to execute this one. You can, now you can see this one. Yeah, you can run it. Yeah, the first one done. Expecting second one also, you need to successful. You can see whenever you need to enable the bean shell preprocessor, what are the conditions will given right? Both the conditions, uh, it's a enable also, first request success right, second request is executed. No issue. Okay. Now our scenario is the final one. You can see first request fail only, right? You need to second request not executed. You can I will type one, two, three, four. Okay. It's a wrong. It's a wrong means automatically the test is first request is failed. Whenever the first request is whenever first request is failed, right? Second request never executed. Okay. 
first request failed means second request never executed and first request failed immediately stop the test that is the condition okay now you need to see what will be happen our code is expecting as expected level is working or not you need to check this one okay now you can see yeah you can see first request is failed okay expect uh, response code 200 something will be came right immediately the request failed immediately test also stopped okay immediately the test also stopped stop the test okay now our condition working as expected okay yeah that's all guys this video now maybe you understand how this code will be work okay and uh, just you need to practice one or two times okay you did not practice it you are seeing everything um, as for the viewers you are able to see the how the scenario how the candidate will be executed how to get the output it's very simple but whenever you implement it right you will face so many problems okay that reason please be on practice okay yeah that's all guys this video maybe our topic also it's completed now okay uh, i will post this video soon okay you can get it you also try yourself and my last request uh, you like this video please subscribe my channel i will provide the more videos on same yeah that's all guys this video i will connect to the my next video bye everyone